Hello geeks out there and welcome back to Everyday Normal Greek. I am Stamatis and I am back with you today with another episode of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. Today as with the last episode we had in the in my channel like we will be continuing with our tutorials regarding the mechanics, the various mechanics of the game and how you can improve your tactics, your strategies and everything you need to know about it. This time we start here in this village, Bara Harad, and as you can already notice, it's the map that we played the tutorial for the rails last time and but this time our focus is totally different. There is another subject of like in the game that a lot of players maybe don't understand, some players skip it, some players are baffled by it, and it's called Construction Office. So that's what we're going to do today guys, we're going to see how Construction Offices work. So we're in this village, Baraharad, here, our beautiful village, our people are going to the church, our money is unlimited, and we're going to start with construction construction office you can see it here and rail construction office what are those two like mystical buildings that they look so big we're going to check with you guys today I'm going to check this today and see how we can work this out and how we can put our glorious glorious Soviet hands into work in order to save up few rubbles for our republic. So guys, we don't lose any time, I'm just going to find an open space probably somewhere and uh, start really quick showing you how this should be done. And we will start with the very basics of course and uh, as I am looking for the open space to start building stuff, maybe we could start here that already has some people but we really don't care, I mean this map is like uh, just a test map. It's testing purposes, you know, the testing purposes of construction office. Okay, nice flat area here. Really nice flat area here. So probably we'll start building our stuff here. But before we start building, uh, what is the purpose of a construction office, you will ask me. I mean, why we need construction office? Uh, I have played quite a few city building games and... Um, uh, to be honest, I've never seen before a construction office. By the way, if you have played a city building game that you actually had a, uh, actually had a construction office, please write me in the comments below which games it is, which game is it? I mean, if or if it has some just a similar concept of the construction office, okay. And uh, let me know if there is another game because I'm really curious. I've never, I, I don't remember playing a game with with a construction office, at least not how it, it, it is implemented in this game, in Soviet Republic. Workers and resources, our glorious country, so let's not lose any more time. So what is a construction office? It's this building here, construction office. Okay, not a lot of information as with most of the buildings, all of the buildings in the game, but let's plop it down to see it, you know, to first see it. What is the construction office? Let's put it here. If you enjoy this video, just to remind you, press the like button. If you want to get notifications, just subscribe to my channel, guys, and please check out my previous tutorial, also about rails and semaphores. Uh, it's quite long. I hope this one won't be so long this time. Okay, so where should I put it here? I hope this video won't be so long, I mean construction office is not so complicated as rails. It has quite a lot of stuff that we should be aware about. If you want to play efficiently, so that's a construction office, you see it has like um, some like um, this, how to call this, this, this uh, buildings, you know, with this like panels, you know, this uh, temporary, temporary rooms, probably this is for workers, you know, probably here is a management or something and this is for workers quarters and here is probably where the vehicles rest, I mean this is the yard where the vehicles will be, maybe some uh, some tools inside here, I don't know. Okay, so our city, our city here is, will be called Inerksta, something like that. 
Okay, so first of all, like the purpose of the construction office is that if you see in, let's say in this panel on the left that I opened, you see so wireframe and under it, okay, so the wireframe is the wireframe of the, of the ground. Uh, but then it has two options under it, auto built from rubbles, auto built from dollars. You can choose one of them or none of them. So technically you can auto build buildings like I'm going to do right now. So I'm going to start with a residential area here, first of all, and I'm just going to plop down some nice buildings here. Okay. And, but first let's put some roads. Okay. So I'm just going to plop down some roads, I'll put a road like this, let's say. Okay. So now everything is being auto built means what is auto built. If we check here, it means that everything, the construction of the of the building or of the infrastructure that I choose to build is handled automatically by the game. All the materials are being importing, meaning that if I had money here on the upper right side, I would see my money go down. And also there is like, uh, uh, I don't here. Yes. You see resources needed to finish the current phase of the construction, some materials and 172 work days. What that does mean work day is the work of one person in an eight hour shift. Okay. So we will need 172 eight hour shifts to finish this. And when I auto build stuff, this manpower is coming from abroad. It's technically immigrants. That and of course this extra cost is included in the cost of the construction of the auto built construction. I have chosen rubble, so if I had rubbles now here, if my rubbles were remitted, you would see them going down. Now you cannot see this. And of course now it's been completed. You see the work is going down and the road is complete. So this goes for every building, every industrial building, every residential building. When you auto build, you import resources to build and you also import manpower. So let me build a small neighborhood here. Okay. Yep. So this is going to be the base of workers for our construction office. Okay. So the purpose of the construction office is that you're taking like the building of everything, let's say in your Republic or for whatever you choose on your own hand. So you don't auto build anymore. You handle the resources. As you can see here, if you open the panel of a construction office, we have like sources of resources, workers for construction. So you can point to where the construction office will find workers, gravel, asphalt, everything you need to build stuff. And you also buy, can buy mechanism, by mechanism, we mean like vehicles, like uh, uh, trucks, cranes, pavers, rollers, everything you need to build, which of course you can access them the classic way. If you go here and buy new vehicle mechanism, you can see everything that is available to the construction office, like buses, covered house, dumpers, open house, excavators, star cranes, a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. So all well, like a lot of stuff. Now you see mainly buses, but okay. Yes. So the purpose of the construction office is that it allows you to make, let's say a production line of construction in your own uh, game, in your own glorious Republic. And you to allow like your own workers build everything. Of course, as you can imagine, this needs a bit of care attention and may it might be a bit slower because of course, like the flow of workers from your Republic is not as steady as if you simply import them. So like there are like two really basic aspects in the construction office. But first, let me check. We have enough people here. Okay. So just, sorry, I will just max out the buildings here. The experts or whatever, you know, maybe simply just some immigrants here. Okay. So the first thing we have to do is like, we're going to work out and let's say we want to extend this neighborhood and we want to add in this neighborhood, let's say the like services for those people. So we're going to do this with a construction office. And for sure, what we're going to need for the construction office to keep it up and running is 
vehicles. Most important stuff is vehicles. And vehicles, as you can see, there are like a lot of them. And as you can imagine, whatever you need to build, it's being built, it's, it's, it has its own specialized like vehicle. So as you can see, I have only 12 places in a construction office and just a bunch of, I don't know many how vehicles. And if I go even with dollars, I can purchase stuff. So a lot of vehicles, a lot of specializations, a lot of everything. So how do we proceed with it? Uh, depends on what you want to do. For now, I'm going to just show you that for the purpose, I'm going to try to build as, as general purpose construction offices as I can. So like, let's say we will need for this, what are we going to need for the building? So let's say I want to build, um, let's start with something like a small shopping center. Okay. I will delete the auto build from here. And I will start with a small shopping center. I, when I'm ready to plop it down, you will notice that there is this label and it says it needs 579 work days, 67 tons of concrete, 50 tons of gravel, 12 tons of asphalt, blah, blah, blah. These are the resources needed to be built. Let's put it, let's say near the people since I want it to be near. Turn it around like this. And let's plop it down here. Of course, now that it's not auto building, it's just here as a blueprint. If I open one of the blueprints, you can see that how many maximum workers can work at this, uh, at this like uh, construction site, how many mechanisms are present right now and the resources needed for the current phase, which is the groundworks and also the resources needed for the whole construction and as you can see i need a lot of workers a lot of work days concrete gravel asphalt bricks boards and steel a lot of stuff a lot of stuff so what can i do about it so as you can imagine we have right now we don't have any industry in this map so the easiest way to uh, start this thing is by uh, Mm, by setting up various warehouses so like to import everything we have the people so we have to start importing the materials and as you can see of course the road is a separate construction and if you notice in the road it's already auto detected it's auto assigned to our construction office but not this building let's check no, and this is happening because to have access to the construction site, first, the construction office must auto-complete the road. But before we proceed to it, because we go too far, so let's say we have this for a construction office, let's focus first on something else. That the construction office has a purpose of building everything. It does this with, by finding resources, assign them, like uh, having the vehicle, so, combining everything together, okay? And how it does is by the classic way in this game, by auto finding stuff. So they, it has like the construction office has this auto search, which is now expanded to 1000 meters, as you can see in the red area. But I can extend this, let's say to 3000 meters to extend the area that the construction office is going to auto find stuff. And I can also specifically assign, say to the, to the construction office, what it should look for. I can say to him, you can look only for roads or not look for roads. You can look for factory connections, for electric wiring, for footpaths, for buildings or for conveyors, depending on what I want the construction office to do. And of course I can manually assign a building to the construction office. A construction site the construction office but as you can see here for example side the road connection is not there so the construction office cannot get this under its own responsibility so uh, before i start with this uh of course there is auto finding of it okay so uh i would like to tell you as i want to come back to this matter that as i was telling you before you can have a general purpose construction office that has everything here, all the machinery you want, but you can also 
also make clusters of specializing construction offices. And throughout the game, I have found that this is more the most efficient way of constructing stuff is by specializing. Because of course, 12 spaces to build everything with a single construction office is not enough. You can tell me that you can have a, the, the other solutions, you can have one construction office and maybe build a lot of vehicle depots around it. But uh, uh, if we see the vehicle depot, uh, where is it now? Just to check the expense, you know. Okay, let's auto build first. Okay, it's auto building unfortunately. Okay, but as you can see, it needs... I don't know how much it needs. We will have to destroy it and take it again. Let's build it again. And this time, let's pause the whole thing. So the vehicle depot is here and it needs around 118 work days, 10, uh, sorry, 422 work days in total. 10 tons of concrete, 7.8 tons of gravel. Oh, and it has also the price there. Okay, okay, so it cost 8,662 rubles for the vehicle depot. It was much simpler, you know, that I thought. While the construction office cost 5,379. So, by nature, by default, the vehicle depot is even more expensive to build than a construction office. So, even if you want to build a one construction office with a cluster of depots, it would be more expensive than just simply putting a cluster of construction office straight down. And before building this construction site over here, which is our target for now, I would like to start off with one, one strategy I follow in every map I play, even if it's like a difficult map, even if it's an easy difficulty map, if it's hard or whatever, the first movement, the first thing I do, one of the first things I do, and I would advise you to do so, is to construct a construction office specialized in terraforming. Yes, you heard me correctly, like construction offices can be specialized in terraforming stuff. And how you do this? If you take a construction office and just simply fill it with uh, a few excavators and bulldozers, so if I go here and find for Abels, the excavators, excavators, and just buy some level 33 excavators. So four of them, and then just buy some four bulldozers, and maybe I will buy also some open hulls to be able to carry them. But how much is a bulldozer? It's five tons and... Yes, and the excavator is 11 tons, so we need some open hulls that are able to carry at least 11 tons. This can carry 12, so something like that. So that is the first step on having a specialized depot for terraforming, construction office for terraforming. And if we see this right now and uh, we try to auto remove the auto build and try to terraform in the area that the construction office is responsible for, then you can see that if I start terraforming, everything is happening for free. You can see my, you can see here, come on, zoom in. You can see my bulldozers working and terraforming stuff and everything is happening for free. No cost at all because I have this specialized in terraforming 
construction office and that's a really useful tip to start from the beginning with having a specialized terraforming construction office because it's the easiest thing you can have it costs 5000 something for the construction office plus to have let's say the four open house would be around uh, 36000 rubles plus to have the bulldozers would be around uh 15000 rubles and plus to have like the four excavators would be around 32000 so like let's say with around 80000 rubles plus the 5000 cost of the construction office you have terraforming in this entire area for free and how cool is that? How awesome is that? So yes, so one of my first tips that we start with and I would advise you to always do is start by building a construction office with terraforming specialization so you can have terraform in a whole bunch of area, you know, in like three kilometers radius for free instead of just having cost for it like and paying and stuff. So another thing that we would like to do then is I would like instead I said in the beginning to start and like making this general purpose construction office but I really see no 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 reason in it I don't know like I mean I I don't find that I will be able to fit everything I want let's say even for this building because as you can see this building is going to require a lot of stuff because it will need a road to be built first and then people to access it here and work so what i need to do i want to make specialized cluster of specialized construction office so i'm going to plop down two more construction offices and which one one will be specialized in road in road paving and the other is going to be specialized in uh buildings but in residential services buildings okay so what are we going to do is we're going to take two more construction offices so let's make this construction office neighborhood here of course free terraforming as you could see make another one here let's say okay and let's build everything okay Okay, our construction officer are built. So one, as I said, I'm going to do it specialized for road paving. And what we're going to need for road paving, what we're going to need uh, some uh, pavers, of course, to pave our roads, some rollers that they straight up the road, some bulldozers, and probably like some open house as well to carry them but bulldozers are like five tons uh, sorry pave rollers are like two tons and pavers are like five tons so maybe we'll need some open house smaller open houses can carry let's say eight tons this open house will be enough to carry them and why we want open house to carry them we want open house to carry them because it is faster because as you can see their speed is not really great where is it sorry uh, their speed as we can see here is not really great i mean a bulldozer has like maximum speed of 20 kilometers and the paver has maximum speed of 15 like terrible when like an open hull has a maximum speed of 60 70 80 kilometers so it's good that some to have some of them so maybe some equipment is being carried by them so it's faster to be carried to the construction site so it's always a good idea to have some open hulls to carry your heavy equipment from the construction offices so now that we have this specialized in roads then we're going to make uh, one construction office uh, specialized in like specialized or like having its purpose for buildings and this is going to consist of let's say some what are we going to need for the buildings we're going to need definitely some concrete mixers as our concretes usually require our buildings our constructions require concrete so let's see this is 11 tons 12 12 well it doesn't matter let's buy let's say three concrete mixers or maybe four we usually need a lot of them then we're going to need some uh tower cranes probably 
let's see. For sure we're not going to need excavators or road cranes. Probably we're going to need some road cranes. Yeah. Yeah, and since we don't build so tall buildings, we don't need a tower crane. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to take some road cranes. Well, 32, okay. Maybe two tower cranes. And since we have mostly like uh, trucks here and okay, the tower crane. This need to be carried probably somehow. So maybe we can buy one open hull as well. I mean, the tower cranes are like, I bought these ones, right? Yes, seven tons. So maybe I can take some open house as well again. Let's take this to be safe. And I'm also going to take a bus. Bus to carry my workers. So I'm going to take this. It takes a lot of passengers, 128. And it's like 70 kilometers maximum speed. And it's something maybe long or maybe fast. Mm hmm. Maybe like this. 75 kilometers, 79. 85, something like that. Something like this, fast and small. To carry my workers. And okay, so now I have everything right here. But what I miss now is actually workers. Okay, for this construction site. And how we're going to find workers. Workers, we have to build first of all a bus stop somewhere. So let's build a bus platform here to allow for people to come and auto build this. I didn't have to press this check there. And probably some road that connects a bus stop. My classic way of building bus stops. I like them beautiful. And suddenly you see like the masses of people. They're running to the bus stop. Yay. <laughs> Work for us. So now that we have the, the platform here. The bus platform. Now we can go to this construction office. That is specialized let's say in in buildings. In, in like constructing buildings. So And we can assign to these workers. Choosing the workers resource. And then specifying that is going to be taken from this platform. And you can see already that it's changed here. So it's a sign that this, this construction office, whenever it needs workers, it's going to take them from that bus platform over there. And the same can be said for this one as well. I'm not going to assign to the terraforming specialized uh, 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 construction office because this is something that can be done without workers. And maybe it's also too much to assign this uh, to this one also, but just to be safe. But as you can see, nothing is being moved. Big Why? Because we're missing resources. For example, to build the road, we don't only need workers. We need gravel and asphalt okay so how are we going to do this how are we going to take stuff and that's by creating plants to produce stuff factories or by creating warehouses and let's find some storage in warehouses and where we could take gravel gravel we can take from uh, aggregate storage but we probably need like a small aggregate storage, something like that, right? If we can take gravel, clarified stones, coal, iron. Yeah, 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 like a small aggregate storage. Okay, and tell to this storage that you know what, dude? Start importing stuff. Store gravel. Oh. It cannot store more stuff. I think it can, right? I mean, if we import gravel. Oh, I cannot mix aggregates. Okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. So, how can I do it? Uh, that's a good question. 
Is there anything else I can do? Let's say if I go to to the industry of uh, gravel and coal, steel mill, cement plant. Okay, so aggregates cannot be mixed. That's something new for me. So, okay, so let's purchase gravel here since that's what we need, yes. And we also need asphalt. And here is a catch. Asphalt, we cannot, we cannot produce we cannot import but we can produce actually asphalt so i'm going to build an asphalt plant unfortunately because asphalt cannot be imported and also asphalt cannot be stored somewhere asphalt must be coming directly from an asphalt plant so let's build an asphalt plant here somewhere Maybe I can build it close to those buildings. <laughs> it will be really strange, but it will do, you know? Like, I mean, I won't have to transport my workers there. And okay, it's a test map, guys. It's like testing purposes. Like, uh, I'm not going to pollute them like uh, forever. It's just testing. So let's just build the asphalt plant there. Where is the asphalt plant? It should be somewhere here, yes. Build the asphalt plant. Industry next to people, quite literally. Okay, so asphalt plant is being built. Let's put also a footpath to make it easier for them to reach it. Like this, go there. And you, go there. So now that we have gravel and asphalt, soon we will have asphalt, we can go and assign these two to our construction offices. So gravel is going to be taken from here and asphalt is going to be taken from here. And the same can be done for this construction office as well, that the gravel is going to be taken from here and asphalt is going to be taken from here. And of course, we have to import all our stuff to start producing asphalt and probably we need power as well, so I think I was importing power for my lines, for my rails or something, so I have to find them. So just give me a moment, I will want to import those stuff here. Okay. Missing power. Building is without power supply. Okay, yes, 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 you are right. Do I remember where were my rails? I think I saw them. You can hear them. Choo -choo 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 -choo. Somewhere there should be some. Yay, 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 yay. Here are some cables, high voltage cables that can actually take and power my city. Okay, so we can, can delete this place here. We can put like a switch. Here I'm too far from the construction office. I can see, as you can see in the terraforming, of course, cost me money. If I had another construction office nearby with in the area, it wouldn't cost me a single rubble to do it. So now I can take this power lines, I guess. And I think down there is my construction. So I can simply just boom, boom. Is it built? A bit slowly, slowly, slowly. Okay, we can have a power transformer somewhere here. Then connect, then take... Uh, some substation here. Then take some power lines 
Down there. Really ugly, but it works. And now our asphalt plan is up and running. Yay! Of course, it's up because they say we cannot export asphalt, but there is nothing to store asphalt to. I mean, if we look at the storage, there is nothing that can store asphalt right now, as of now in the game. I don't know if they are going to add this with another update or something, but for now there is no storage place for asphalt. Kind of makes sense. I mean, do we actually store asphalt in reality as well? I doubt. I doubt that we store asphalt in reality as well. So yes, asphalt has nowhere to be stored. But now I have I have assigned this this to the buildings, and as I can see here. I need gravel and asphalt and some work days, okay? And let's see, is this assigned to this one? Yes, it is. And is this assigned to this one? Yes, it is. But nothing is working. Why? Because we miss dumpers. And that's what I forgot when I was building, uh, <laughs> when I was building this specialized like um, road building besides flatbeds we needed some dampers so dampers are carrying the asphalt and the stuff you know like and uh, the gravel and everything so we need some dampers ideally some fast dampers that can carry I don't know how much this can carry 11 tons goes 95 kilometers hmm, this seems nice don't mix dumpers with open house, okay? Open house is a different thing. Dumper is totally different thing. So we're going to sell some uh, open house probably. Yep, just two of them. And just buy two dumpers instead. And now everything should be rolling. Or will it? Yes, we can see the first dumper is going now. Let's speed up the game a bit. He's going to take, and the second is going as well, but they are going to transport first the material, and then there's going, a bus is going to start probably from this building, from this construction office over here, and is going to transport the people to the side. But first, the material. You see that all construction offices have been inside there. Related vehicles are the dumpers. And we see how much stuff are in the construction site right now. Not a lot currently. Let's hope it will be more. Oh, and you see already the bulldozer is going. The excavator, sorry. Let's see where the excavator is going. However, it's not in a, in a flatbed. I don't know if I have to mount them or something, to micromanage them and mount them every time from the office in order to be in flatbeds, or they can do this automatically. But wait, 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 you see that now that also this was picked up by the other construction office and you see how they cooperate together, like despite that the vehicles are in different construction offices, when everything is set, when all the materials are available from resources and uh, materials, I mean workers and uh, raw materials and advanced materials like uh, raw materials like gravel and stuff and advanced materials like asphalt or something. When everything is available and when you have all the vehicles, even if they're in different construction offices, okay, if they're in range of the construction, in range of it, like they will pick it up. They will pick it up automatically and they're going to dispatch whatever is needed. They're going to auto coordinate themselves. So the bus transported the workers here. So we can see now, I will pause it. We can see that in this construction office for the road, currently there are like 50 workers working in it. There is 1.3 tons of gravel. And what we miss is another five work days for it to be complete for the current phase. And when this is completed, we're going to go to the next phase of it. So more stuff are going to come. So that phase was over and now we say that it says here that we miss asphalt. Soon the asphalt is going to come. Excavator came, did what he was supposed to do. I don't know what was that. 
Now we're missing asphalt. We have the asphalt, sorry. We have the workers, but we see the dapper is going for asphalt. Oh my god, and yes, the flatbirds are doing this automatically. Yes, yes, he took the paver and they're going. You see, you see why it's good to have those, sorry, not dumpers, but open hulls, because the open hull got the paver that normally would go with 15 kilometers max, like this excavator, and now is heading to the construction site. Maybe the excavator is too, too big, too heavy for this uh, open hull? Maybe. Anyway, but you can now inspect this auto coordination so since we have everything set up everything is coordinated well all resources are, are available the paver now is going to wait here for the asphalt so i want to see if the asphalt will be yes i think this guy carries the asphalt that is going to be needed and as you can see 5.3 tons of asphalt asphalt is being on this bar on this uh, uh, damper sorry when we exactly need 5.3 tons of asphalt so everything is auto coordinated if you set it up correctly asphalt is here paver is working no need for workers of course if we didn't have a paver this would be done by workers you see that when the paver is working work days are dropping so there are some machines working for automation like pavers rollers and stuff so that would be done by workers but it just reduces they, they, they do the uh, job of the people a bit faster and uh, more efficiently but of course if you don't have the money to pay to take the paper let's say you can skip it but of course it will take more time and after this road is finished now we will have access to the full site okay and we can see now that the road is finished before let's pause it here and now we can see what we need for uh what we need for the shopping center actually so now we come down to the actual thing so for the shopping center we're going to need 581 work days as you can see here in the lower part of this card 67 tons of concrete we don't have concrete now somewhere 15 tons of gravel, 12 tons of asphalt, 11 tons of bricks, 3.7 tons of boards, and 12 tons of steel. Really well, we don't produce anything, nothing of those. No concrete, no gravel, no asphalt. So what are we going to do? We're going to let this road finish and we're going to keep doing what we did here since we don't produce anything of course if you produce something let's say now we produce asphalt here we import uh, bitumen and gravel and we produce asphalt if we uh if we are producing if you're producing something else in your town if you're producing something else in your map you can point always the construction office to where you want to take the stuff from okay also i haven't checked do they have fuel? They don't have fuel. I have to build something. I have to build something to refuel them. Okay, I have to build like. Uh, sorry, I just forgot about it. I just, just hit me like I mean how they move. You know, if they don't have fuel. So let's build a gas station here to make them refuel. Okay. So the point is to come back to what I was saying before that uh, if you produce something. Of course, you're going to point the construction office to the resource that you are actually producing. If you produce concrete, you're going to produce your concrete to, to point it to the concrete plan. And then the trucks are going to go there and pick it up. If you don't, then you just import stuff. Okay, so now, as we can see here, we have to import all, this, all these materials. But instead of just focusing in this construction, let's go to the construction office and see what it needs. It needs... To be pointed towards like what resources it needs like concrete steel bricks prefab panels boards mechanical components and electrical components so let's create the points of supply for all of them we have already for gravel so let's go and create a storage house a warehouse which is the easiest one because this is going to give us access to mechanical components and electrical components that are needed for the construction offices so let's build this warehouse somewhere here. 
and when this is built okay and also an open storage as well a medium open storage so we can have access to prefab panels bricks boards and still that is much needed as well so let's build the uh, small 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 open storage let's say here wow not straight at all but okay we'll do we'll do let's fast forward a bit the building and as now they have been built let's import okay so no we don't want to limit the amount we were just going to here say go here and say okay import mechanical components import electronics Uh, do we need electronics? No, I think we need sorry electrical components So we need electrical components and mechanical components So import those two and we're going to go to open storage and say import prefab panels bricks steel and boards that are important for construction wood as you can imagine raw wood is not important in construction We don't use it at all. We use boards of course so now that we have everything here, we're going to go and the Sorry, before I go, you see that they filled now with everything we need here. The warehouse is not visible. This open storage is really beautiful because you can see the raw material coming here and being filled. So now we're going to go to this construction office and say, okay, you want to have steel. You're going to find it in the open storage and the bricks as well. And the prefabricated panels as well. And the boards too. And you're going to have mechanical components and electrical components from this storage and now we have set everything except concrete let me first assign the other construction office the number three construction office to the same stuff as well and then i will come back to concrete really fast so let's say we have steel here we have bricks we have prefab panels, we have boards, and then mechanical components and electrical components from our warehouse. And now, concrete. Because as you can see here, we have everything. We have workers and staff running into to start working in this construction. And you can see if the workers are close enough to the construction site, they don't even need a bus. You just come here to work, okay? Same as you would have a as you would have like a factory nearby, like this factory, they just walk there, they don't need a bus. If the construction is far away, then the bus is going from the construction office is going to handle this. I think here we need power supply. <laughs> of course, we are so close to power supply, but no. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, let's put down some power. Let's make the game happy. Yep. So I guess everything is powered now. My machines will be happy. Okay. So concrete, concrete, I'm coming back to it, is the same like asphalt. You cannot store concrete, you cannot import concrete. You have to produce it on spot for your uh, trucks to transport it. So if we go to, is it to gravel, coal iron? Mm. Salmon plant. No, I don't want salmon plant. I want. Uh... Where is it? Concrete plant. Yes, exactly. Small and packed. Same like the asphalt plant. Okay, for now, for the testing purposes, as I told, I'm just going to build it somewhere close as well. Like, I don't know, like here. You know? Somewhere like really close. So people can just walk there because I don't want to set up buses now and everything. So let's just build it there, this concrete plan. Let my workers go there. Connect it to the road like this. Really ugly construction, but you, you, you get the meaning. I mean, I, I don't want right now to make everything beautiful. I don't care. I just want to show you how it's being done. Let's fast forward until this is built. Dun, 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 dun. It's built. So concrete, concrete needs some gravel and some cement. Cement we can import, so don't mix cement with concrete. Okay, concrete is a reinforced, let's say, version of cement that is used in construction. Uh, cement is just one part of it. The second is the gravel. That uh, Okay, this is also happening in reality, like what they do to cement. They just 
add some gravel which is technically you know some stones rock and stuff and of course they add some other materials in nowadays in the modern days so concrete is this reinforced material that we use in construction as well so cement is only the one part of it okay cement is one part of it so you need cement and gravel to make the concrete so you and also cement in the game you can store it okay so let me start on to importing things and um I see there are all already workers there. So let me assign also the construction offices to the cement factory as well. To the concrete factory. Oh my god, I, I mixed it. Okay. Okay. And um, now that we have it, let's check that we can actually save cement. Here, cement silo. We can save cement, we can store it, but we cannot store concrete. And it makes sense. I mean, concrete, you take it, you produce it, and it's ready to be used, you know. I don't know, actually, again, if it's happening in reality as well. I don't know, if you know, if we, in reality, we store asphalt and concrete in some places, just write me down. But, and I don't know if this is going to change in other updates. I don't see that the developer is willing to do something like that. It, it, I think this keeps a form of realism that you cannot store concrete and cement. Anyway, so now you see those two trucks, dum dum dum, the mixer, the mixer is going to take this concrete and transport it here. And as you can see, we have all the resources we need except the concrete. So when the concrete comes, next phase is going to be completed. So you see that everything is auto-coordinated. So really, it's really simple and cheap and efficient to have a cluster of specialized construction offices working in a certain area. And the thing is that what those construction offices are going to be specialized to depends on what you're planning to build. If you want to make a residential building, your residential buildings, you're going to need probably... Uh, like mostly they have like a lot of concrete a lot of prefabs a lot of wood so you're going to need a lot of like concrete mixers you're going to need let's say a lot of flat beds because flat beds are going to carry also your prefab panels and everything you know and uh, you need all these to coordinate them but if you want, let's say, to build industry. Industry is like more still heavy sometimes, you know. And uh, this is going to need maybe different specializations. Uh, but usually I found that this setup of just having like, uh, let's say, buildings construction office and uh, asphalt, like roads construction office and just like this, like terraforming construction office works really well for a lot of stuff. So you can see that it's much slower than it would be uh if we would auto build okay it would be much faster if we would auto build but it's going somewhere guys it's going somewhere it's going and it's working really well and now you well, i will ask i will make and i will answer the one million dollar question you know is it really worth it to have this like i mean is it really worth to have this thing and start building stuff and actually wait a second let's start building something else for our my citizens Maybe I need a football or tennis stuff here, you know. Let's build this tennis ground just to see them what they can build and how efficient it can be, you know. Let us build, let's say, a hospital as well or something. Or a uh, cinema. No, no, no. Let's build a hospital. A pub, maybe. Let's build a pub somewhere here. And let's build a hospital as well. And let the offices handle this. So to let them like go. Now we have everything we need. Now everything is going to be auto built. And as you can see, uh, footpaths, roads, they have usually they're auto, auto detected. You know, you can also track the progress here as well. And you can see it really coming to life. And of course, if you want to make things faster, you can assign more workers, you can assign more machinery to it. And so to come back to the million dollar question, is it really worth it to have like construction offices? And the answer to it is it depends. It depends on the situation and on what you produce 
and what you want to build and actually actually there is this really really cool uh, uh, like uh, like a guide in the steam community by I'm, 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 I'm don't remember the, the guys the, the, the user's name that he actually made this like 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 almost like a study you know like he put the numbers down but I'm going to put this link in the description of this video down below so you can all go and actually see for yourselves he made this really uh, really uh, detailed calculation of if it's worth building from construction office and what he found out is that actually what you save mostly when you have a construction office and let's say you don't let's say you don't produce anything else so you simply have a construction office that you have to import everything so where do you save money from and that money are being saved from the workers because workers you have in your republic and technically you anyway you pay them to live you pay for the services and stuff they cost you money so if you point them and they work towards the construction of it that means you don't import foreign workers to construct your buildings and there is where you save money and what he found is that in most of the buildings in the residential buildings especially and all around residential where there is like uh, the, the, there is like a lot of concrete and uh, woods and fabricated ports and stuff that they're fairly cheap like the the amount of uh, the, the um, cost of the materials can be around 50 to 60 percent from 40 to 60 percent in the residential buildings that means that by using construction office even if you import everything you save around for 40 to 60 percent in worker costs every time you build something from construction office even if you import everything and it's even more crazy in roads in roads the material costs around 19 to 20 percent of the price in roads in paths and stuff and and the point is that the rest of 80 percent is workforce and by having like this automated machinery like rollers and pavers or workers you just cut off 80 percent in building roads so when it's about to build buildings or like residential industrial building industrial buildings has a bit higher costs usually because they sometimes they have steel as this uh, uh, this guy said so we can see actually by ourselves here like if we go let's say to um, let's say we want to build a oil refinery you see they have like 301 tons of steel actually it's in the car they don't have to open this okay so you see six tons of steel in this but if we go to residential buildings residential buildings they don't have that much steel have much less steel but they have like bricks and boards and stuff so bricks and boards and uh, concrete they're much cheaper than steel steel is really expensive it is a game changer in the mechanics of this game so however the industrial buildings they're also really worth it they're most the expenses of their materials are around 60 to 70 percent on average from what i saw from this i mean you will find this they have he has this guy has this awesome excel that uh, like excel sheet excel sheet that uh, sorry that is is, is uh, describing everything and it is like really to build stuff it's really worth it to build like buildings industrial buildings uh, and especially roads and stuff but when it comes expensive it comes expensive to constructions that need a lot of steel steel is really expensive to import and unless you have like a steel industry that you actually produce the steel it's what it's really advised to avoid building uh, steel heavy constructions like for example uh high voltage wires that you can see to build high voltage wires uh we don't see it here now what they require but they need oh we could actually let's say try to make you see yes here you see how much steel they need just this thing needs four tons of steel just these two so you can imagine how much steel it needs uh, sorry six tons of steel and four tons of gravel so high voltage wires uh conveyors conveyors are well as well they need a lot of steel and um, conveyor transfer engines and stuff or pipelines pipelines or pi pipes also need a lot of steel you see still a lot of steel just this like 
just this long pipeline needs like 13 tons of steel already or like uh, oil storage and stuff so pipelines oil storages and rails rails as well they are like still heavy material you see if we just this length of like electrified rail 10 tons uh, sorry 2.9 tons of steel so rails and uh in, so technically infrastructure like uh, rails like uh, high voltage wires like pipelines like conveyors these are still heavy materials and it is these are the materials that really you don't have any major benefit because usually the materials in these constructions cost around 80 percent so you technically cut at around 20% with, the, of course, the cost that you have to transport everything with your own vehicles and find your own workers and delay everything in general, being much, uh, much, much slower. So actually what is worth is to build everything, but avoid to have to build still heavy construction unless you have your own, of course, still, uh, still like uh, industry that produces steel. So these other ones, the, it is like really more cost efficient to build rails and to build like uh, uh, to build like electric wires and stuff by auto building them instead of just making them work with a construction office. And of course, there is a rail construction office. If we see it, it is uh, somewhere here. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Cargo and train station. Okay, Marable is uh, sometimes it's confusing really. Oh, you can see the cranes. They're so beautiful these cranes the road cranes We also have some other tall cranes. I don't know why it's not coming now Maybe we have to transport somehow, but anyway, okay, so you can see here. We have like rail construction office and construction of so rail construction office and I found at as well is expensive to build auto to build rails, especially if you don't have steel industry. So it doesn't really work the fast, especially in the beginning. Of course, in later stages, stages if you're like in really advanced like level in with your like map and your game, of course you can start doing this like without any fear. Just you know go for the extra challenge. You know if you want to make your your city you know like uh really like uh how to say independent you know and just in their own be be, be like you know dependent only on our own strength like true 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 socialism you know oh you see the hospital is being ba -bum. Woo -hoo. everything is being built really efficiently and nicely and of course if i want to showcase this i want to build let's say also let's say an electrical electric power plant just to see that the construction office if it's well coordinated so here we see what it needs it needs a lot of work dates concrete steel gravel mechanical components asphalt and electrical components we're going to build this with a construction office of course and we're going to see those so so you see well with just three construction offices just three construction offices i can build almost everything i need to kick off my map where should they build this plant Let's build it there. Maybe we can see, you know, free terraforming, of course. Okay, see now we have problem with the road, but we can just plop it down and just see. Yeah, okay, okay. That would be like uh, quite a challenge here. Probably we should raise this area here somehow like that. Oh, oh, come on. Okay, maybe we should raise a bit more. For free. Make like that, maybe. Yep, okay, it needed like two times. Okay, I'm not going to auto build this. I'm just going to assign this to construction offices. I see, I can check actually if this is my specialized construction office. Uh, yes, this is for the roads. And I can, it didn't pick it up immediately. Oh, I cannot assign. Start construction of the planned infrastructure. Oh, ah, okay, okay, it was just planned. Okay, so start construction. Yes, and you see, aut automatically got detected. So probably we'll see some, like, you see, already my tracks are running out. So you see, just with three simple, simple, like, construction offices, I can basically build whatever. 
quite literally whatever I want. And of course, cut down costs in those buildings, 50, 60, even 80% if it has to do with roads at the time. Okay, so... Now, if we want, let's say, to get this a step further, we could, uh, let's say, build even more specialized construction offices. Because as you can see already, let's say, maybe you have to realize that, let's say, the dumpers are not enough, maybe the concrete mixers are not enough. So we can specialize construction offices. You see how well they coordinate with each other and they don't actually micromanage. And especially now with the, that, the, in the auto search, the plus is that you can tell the construction office what constructions to accept and what not. They literally don't need that much micromanagement. Uh, but what we can do to additionally uh, expand this if we want, we could build another construction office, uh, let's say here somewhere. I don't know, maybe here, maybe here. Okay. And we can actually let it uh, being built. Ah, uh, no, 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 actually I'm going to auto build this. Okay, I'm not going to wait. And we could actually make these construction offices specialized, let's say, with um, uh, vehicles that they're like frequently needed. And let's say these vehicles is vehicles that they transport materials like open house. So we could have like some, you see, because open house can transport boards, prefab panels, bricks and everything. What we miss also is some cover house to transport electrical components and stuff. So let's say we could build one with transporting specialization. So we could build some like to have some covered hulls, some extra open hulls, and then to have few dumpers and then fill the others with concrete mixers because concrete mixers are really, really important. And you see that automatically picks the construction here. And of course, if it senses that it needs like some of these trucks to be to be dispatched somewhere they're going to be dispatched there immediately and more or less that's it guys i guess that uh, you get the idea of it i don't know where is my electrical factory it's here okay so let's see this electric factory is how it's going to be built you see that already the road is being built here by the pavers and soon we will see Okay, the bus here transports people, took 24 workers, beep beep, is coming. So nice, workers are here. Now they build the road, soon they will start building this, this thing that needs electrical components and mechanical components. That's why we took the covered house as well. And you see here is like our like... I like this this area here, the construction office area. And let's follow this guy. He carries the roller, you see, to the factory. One thing I didn't mention is that uh, for now, I don't know if it's a glitch, if uh, it's uh, like a feature that is not there, or if it's, I don't know what it is, but the open hulls, they can transport the machinery if it fits them, they can transport to the side, but the machinery usually returns by itself after, you see. Machinery was transported to the side, but after it returns by itself. And there is no way to make an open hull carry it after it finishes the job. At least you cut time in the first transport when... You see now, uh, uh, okay, they are dispatching this this office probably was dispatching oh no it didn't dispatch anything yet probably we don't need it anyway so you cut in the first transport sometime and then but the machinery will return by itself back okay so let's keep watching this and i guess guys yes we see now the fleet of concrete and dumpers and everything are coming to put material here and probably soon we will see the workers here as well so yeah everything seems to be rolling down really nicely and uh, yes probably the factory will be start building uh, really soon but guys i think that that was it of today i'm gonna leave it 
right right here with you and uh, I wanted to showcase the basic the basic really uh, um, uh, process that you can keep off a construction office in your own city of course if you would like this video please uh, put the thumbs up under this video if you want to receive all the latest news and notifications from my channel please subscribe and hit the bell button so you can get everything and get informed really fast when I upload something new and also if you have any suggestions about tutorials if you have any suggestions about future series about anything please write down in the comments below I would love to read your comments and if you want to make an extra episode an extra tutorial regarding the uh, the construction office but in a more specialized way maybe we can see more advanced uh, build ups more advanced clusters of construction offices how it works you know how it can be more fishing how can you can improve spin and stuff i just didn't want to put everything again and make a two hours video so heavy for such simpler matter rather than rails you know like so i just wanted to keep it as compact as i can so please write me if you would like to see something more specialized about and more advanced about the construction office thank you very much for being in another episode here with me in everyday normal greek channel i am stamatis guys and i was here with you and see you next time guys bye